With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is the rate of formation of SO3 in the following reaction. 2SO2 plus O2 giving 2SO3 is 10 gram per second. What will be the rate of disappearance of O2? Okay. Now, you have this reaction. 2SO2 plus O2 gives 2SO3. So, how do we write the rate of the reaction? We write the rate of the reaction in terms of the disappearance of the reactant and appearance of the product. Right. So, here it will be the disappearance of SO2 by dt. This will be 2 dt because the stoichiometric coefficient is 2. This will be equal to the rate of disappearance of O2 which is minus dO2 by dt. And this is equal to the rate of appearance of the product which is plus the concentration of SO3 by 2 dt. Right. This is what we have to find out. Okay. Now you are given that the rate of formation of SO3. Uh, you are given the rate of formation of SO3 is 10 gram per second. Now this is actually given to you as the rate is given to you as 10 gram per second we have to convert it into mole per second because we are talking about uh, talking in terms of concentration right so for that we need moles so moles will be the given weight is 10 the molar mass of so3 this is the formation of so3 right and the molar mass of so3 is 80 gram per mole right so this becomes 80 this will be mole per second right so the dis we can simply equate these two because we have to find out the disappearance of O2. This means that minus dO2 by dt will be equal to, uh, this will be equal to 1 by 2 into 10 by 80 mole per second. But we have to find it out in gram per second, right? We will find it out in gram per second only because for SO3 also they were given in, given in gram per second. And we will also calculate in gram per second, right? So, this will be equal to 1 by 2 into 10 by 80. Now, what is the molar mass of uh, O2? 1 mole of O2 consists of 32 grams, right? So, we will multiply it by 32 grams and this will come out to be in gram per second, right? And uh, this will be, you will cancel this out, 2 16s, right? And uh, this will be, you can say 0 and 0 will get cancelled out. This will be 2. This means that the rate of disappearance of O2 will come out to be 2 gram per second. And that's the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.